Hey guys, it's Empress Shay Shay. How you doing? Thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribe. How's your Saturday at, um, night going, guys? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's been a busy one for me. Um, guys, hit the um, bell so that when I do go live or have a new reading, you guys will be able will be the first to see it. Okay. I'm burning my sage, guys. I'm coming on a little late. This is for the water signs, okay? Hope you guys are doing well today. It's been so hot. It rained yesterday, but today it didn't rain, so oh well. Okay, guys. Here we go, ancestors. Please give me a clear, honest reading. Okay, guys. If this... Take this as it resonates. If it did not resonate, please don't try to make it fit, okay? <laughs> and this is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the month of August, okay? Okay. It's a time of healing, guys. Guys, ignore my one little nail. <laughs> it's a time for healing, okay? You guys are going through um, a situation of a, of a lot of hurt and pain due to a relationship I'm hearing. The balsamic moon. Okay. It's a time to give rather than take. Okay. This is the new moon in Virgo. You guys must be dealing with an earth sign. This person was taking your energy, your sex, your money, this is what I'm hearing. So it's time for this person to give back instead of taking. Spirit says that a new, a, a end of a tough cycle approaches, okay? So whatever, whoever you guys was dealing with, it's over now. It, it's been bad, it's been hurtful, it's been a lot of things. But spirits say it's, it's, it's over now. So you guys can wreak your harvest down the road because Basically, this person is out of your life. That's why Spirit says time for healing. And it's a time to breathe out. Guys, I cannot make this up. This is a maiden moon. See that? Guys, ignore me. I went and got a tattoo today. I just want to show you guys because... And for Shay Shay not hurt. <laughs> but I, I went and got a tattoo. This is my spiritual tattoo. I wanted to share with you guys. Um, it's the triple moon set. I thought that was beautiful. So I have to keep this tape on me. Anywho. Got my nose piercing too. <laughs> I'm just doing me. Okay. Show some. Oh. Queen of Cups in reverse. What else, Spirit? Ten of Cups. The Hangman. The Hermit. And the Nine of Cups. Okay. Let me pull this card. A new card, and I'll tell you guys what's going on. Somebody needs to go through a rebirth, okay? Spiritual partnership. It's one card. Someone wants to have a spiritual partnership, okay? They want to change their relationship. And they manifesting because they're doing spell work. Anytime you see this, somebody's doing spell work on you, Okay? What I have here, I have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? I have a lot of cups. I have Scorpio. I have mainly Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, okay? The reason why this person want a relationship change is because they were in, they were out there doing them, basically, okay? And now they want to come towards this Queen of Cups, but she doesn't want them. She, she's really, really, like, fucked in the head. She's really distraught of this person. And she does not want this person any longer in her life. 
And the reason she don't want this person I'm hearing is because she didn't want to hurt his feelings, but he doesn't have a, a sex game. His She feel like his... Guys, I'm going to go ahead and see it. Spirit, you got jokes. She feel like his penis is not enough for her. It's not big enough for her. I'm just being real. And she don't want to hurt this person's um, feelings by telling him that. She just keep rejecting this person. Okay? She just keep rejecting this person, not telling him why. Because she's just thinking, okay, he's going to get tired and he's going to go his way. But he's not doing that. He's constantly trying to do spell work on this person. But anyway, he have done spell work on this person in the past. Okay? And he has brought this person to a point to where this person don't have no self-care, no self-love. This person's codependent. And that's how he wants to keep this person. He wants to keep this person stuck like that. He don't want this person to heal or anything. But she's gotten away from him. But I don't see anything about healing, guys. But this is what's going on. Okay. The reason she's going through all this is because of this person. Put her through it. So now he's just like laying around. He don't know what to do. So he's trying to go within to see, okay, what should I do? Should I offer this person a date? Should I call this person? Just exactly what should I do? Okay. Spirit clarified the nine of cups. Oh, they came up. The Eight of Swords. See there? This person don't want to deal with him. This person feels like he has stabbed her too many times. And he's just not stopping. For one, he's trying to figure out, why don't this person want me? You have put all these swords. You have betrayed this person to the utmost, to the highest, that you can betray someone. Now you made this person to where they codependent, they not healed, they don't have any self-love, any self-care for themselves, and they're trying to come out of it. And they're trying to go within so they can come out of it. And this person, instead of, instead of fucking with this person, basically, but fucking with them through spell work, okay? So that page of swords, this person's very immature. And he constantly wants to fight. And nobody wants to do that, guys. He constantly wants to fight. Clarify. Queen of Pentacles, look at that. The Sun and the Ten of Wands. This is crazy. He wants to go towards this person that has no self-esteem, no self-love, no self-worth. Because he's not man enough to be with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing, have money, have all her shit together. I mean, she's a bad bitch in her own right. But he rather someone that's codependent, no self-love, no self-care, so he can have power over that person. That is so fucking sad. Mm, mm, mm. And that's who he wants a new beginning with. But he put this queen of pentacles through a lot of shit. And that's why he's burning down. But he's getting his karma. Water signs, I don't know who the hell y'all dealing with. Oh, this is you, you guys. Look at this, ten of pentacles. He wants a family with this codependent person. Because spirits say he feels more confident with this person. He feels more at home. He don't have to do much to be with this person. This person don't make him better himself. Guys, this is a fucked and crazy ass reading. So he left the Queen of Pentacles to be with this codependent person. Page of Cups. That's what he was hiding. But he was being a player, flighty, with his Queen of Pentacles. Guys, this is fucking crazy. Why, why on earth would you want to be with someone that's codependent, no self-love, no self-care? This person needs some type of psychiatric help. What else, Spirit? 
Because spirits say they both working out of their shadow side. They lower vibrational. He likes lower vibrational people because he's lower vibrational. And spirits say they both need healing. Oh my God. And this person rather be with that type of person because they don't make them, you know, they let them be them basically. You know, if you with someone and they don't, you guys cannot edify each other, that's not good. You know what I'm saying? That's not good. I don't mean to laugh, guys, but if you with someone three months or longer and you're still the same person, that makes no sense. You guys should help each other grow, you know? So this person... This 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 Knight of Wands want to be with someone where he don't have to grow. He must, He's a lazy fuck. He don't want to grow. He want to stay stagnant. He want to stay stuck in his own ways. He want to still be flighty. But he could be a player with this person. He can do what he want. He can hold the streets. Um, this By this person having no self-love, no self-worth, none of that shit, no confidence, it, it, it works in his favor. Guys, this is fucked up. This is fucked up. What else did? So he basically abusing this, mentally abusing this person. King of Cups. Mm, mm, mm. He's flighty, baby. And whoever dealing with him, he's going to stay that way. He's not going to change. He's refusing to heal. And that's why he closed off towards the Queen of Pentacles because she know better. She know better. She know her self-worth. And that's why he don't want her. Mm, mm, mm. But this person is trying to heal. And she's pushing him away also. And he don't understand. And she don't want him because she don't, his sex game is... She, he doesn't satisfy this person sexually. But he put spells on this person to make her think his sex game is good. But he don't want this person to commit to, guys. Ain't that some crazy shit? He have to put spell work on the Queen of Pentacles without her knowing it. In order to have sex because his penis is small and he's not good in bed. It's only an illusion. Guys, I cannot, I cannot play with spirit today. I cannot make this shit up. Didn't I tell y'all he's doing magic? Look at that. He's nothing but a liar, manipulator. He's not going to do nothing but break your heart. And there will be no wish fulfillment with this person. Water signs. I cannot be more clear. And for Shay Shay, love you guys to death. This has been your water signs love reading. Lots of light and love.